SpaceX confirms the static fire test of all 33 engines on Booster 7 to be the next major milestone in Starship testing. Yesterday, a flawless wet dress rehearsal was conducted on the full-stack Starship. This was a huge achievement for the entire SpaceX team. Next, Ship 24 will be de-stacked from the booster and will most likely be rolled back to the production site for final pre-flight checkouts. A temporary road closure scheduled is posted for January 26 for SpaceX transportation operations. I'm sure this will be for S-24's rollback. An SPMT was already moved near the orbital launch mount and is now kept in position for S-24 to be placed on. Once the Starship is rolled back to the high bay, the lifting pins on top of the rocket will also be gone. At the same time, crews will continue to prepare for the full 33-engine static fire test. Starship is finally looking to be ready for flight. We have one final yet the most important test before attempting the test flight mission of the world's biggest and most powerful rocket ever built. How excited are you guys? How many of you still think Starship is not launching in 2023? Going across Florida, exciting things are happening over the Pad 39A Starship launch site. Installation of the chopstick arms on the orbital launch integrated tower has begun. I already talked about the possibility of this happening this week in my previous videos. So, not to miss any new development from SpaceX, consider subscribing to the channel. After Six, more than a month of delay five, and multiple scrubbed attempts four, to launch its first three, mission from USA, Rocket Lab one, finally launched the Virginia's for Launch Lovers mission. An Electron rocket carrying three Hawkeye 360 satellites lifted off from Launch Complex 2 at NASA Wallops Launch Facility in Virginia. This mission was Rocket Lab's first mission of 2023, 33rd overall, and the first mission outside of its launch site in Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand. Congratulations to everyone involved in this mission. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and following the latest space-related news on this channel. See you next time.